What's up guys, Young Jack here. Uh, I want to share with you the new project that I've been working on. Um, so, let's see here. The best way to do this would probably be grab you and bring you down here. So, what we have here is, as you can see, a Commodore 64. Um, original Commodore 64, this isn't like a refurb or a remake or anything like that. Uh, this one I bought used on eBay for about $40. Um, the seller told me it was not working, there was some sort of video output issue. Uh, it didn't come with the cables or anything to for me to test. Um, so. I took his word on it, and I hope that nobody gets mad at me of what I've been working on with it. Uh, so, what we have here is, oh, I forgot that was in there. Um, most of the parts will be getting in tomorrow, uh, so, but I've installed what I have in so far. Uh, so, starting on the left, we have a three port, not three port, four port, there we go, a USB 3.0 hub. Um, now, the ultimate goal for this is I'm going to be putting in a Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, it's the latest that just came out. I'm recording this in March of 2016. So, uh, that was kind of on back order. Uh, it should be getting into me tomorrow, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'm doing you or Raspberry Pi three. Uh, Raspberry Pi three does not support USB three point oh. Um, but in order to do a powered USB hub, as you can see here, there's power input. Um. I had to go to USB 3.0, uh, at least with Amazon's uh, stuff and Amazon's uh, name brand stuff or store brand stuff, whatever, is uh, actually pretty good quality. So that's why I decided to go with them. Um, so there's that. Uh, this is going to be my main power switch. Uh, it's probably just going to control power to the cooling fan and the Raspberry Pi itself. I think I'm going to keep the hub powered so that I can charge stuff off of it even when the system is powered down. Um, so there's that. It's it's actually a it's not a momentary switch. It's a spring loaded toggle switch. I think you can hear the click there. Um, but there's that. Um, so I've got a solderable breadboard coming as well as some different power jacks. Uh, the power supply that I have is actually in the other room. Uh, it's gonna go in right here. It's a 5 volt 8 amp. Uh, I definitely don't need 8 amps for a Raspberry Pi. The 3.0 or the, the Raspberry Pi 3 requires 2.5, I believe. Uh, this requires 2.5. It's just I want to run everything off of one power supply. And really, you the, the general idea is you go larger than what you need. And then if you need more in the future, then you have it available. Uh, so the Raspberry Pi 3... At most, we'll take 2.5 amps. The port or the the um, switch, not switch hub, will take 2.5. Um, and the fan here, I'm not gonna be running this off of the Pi. It's gonna be running off of the um, power supply itself. Uh, that that takes less than an amp. I forget what exactly it is. Um, but that that's what I'm going with there. So there will be a custom 
power distribution board there. Uh, and then the last thing of this, and this is what kind of kicked off the whole project, is the, it's called the Kira or Kira V2. It's, um, there's a, or there's a, um, URL of www.icomp.de there. I bought it off of a company called Veselia. Veselia. I'll put the links for everything down there except for a couple of pieces which I'll touch on in the mo in a moment. Um, but, and I'm not sure if um, Icomp and Vasilia are the same company or not? Not entirely sure. Anyway, what this does is it'll take the original uh, 8 bit keyboard focus, there we go, um, of the Commodore 64 and convert it to USB 2.0. Uh, as you can see on the side here, there's a USB-B plug here. There's also this header here, which I actually had to solder in myself. Um, but that's for an internal computer. Uh, so they, they obviously recognize that people would be doing this sort of thing with it. And this is not a completely unique idea. Um, other people have done it, obviously. Um, this is just my way of doing it. But the cool thing about this is the original Commodore 64 came with these controller ports, which are 9-pin joystick ports, um, which was actually a very wide range, very, very wide range of stuff that used those, uh, such as the... Atari 2600, Atari 7800, obviously the Commodore 64, a lot of the 8-bit computers of the time, uh, the Sega Master System, the Sega Genesis, you know, a whole bunch of stuff like that uh, used these 9-pin controller ports. Um, and this company has included those and they actually map to um, keystrokes on the keyboard so it's it's 100 percent compatible with anything else that you're using so long as the programs that you're using are mapping the keys correctly uh, controller one I believe does the cursors and spacebars the fire button and then uh, two maps it to the uh, keypad. Uh, I I can't exactly tell you. I if I had the instruction manual in front of me, I could tell you what exactly it mapped it to. But uh, that that's really cool. There's also this. It, there's a, a three position switch over here on the side. Uh, that's mainly for keyboard layout. Uh, the bottom position is uh, the original keyboard layout. That position, or the middle position, is a standard keyboard layout. That's where I'm going to be keeping it most of the time. And then the top is sort of a momentary switch. Um, I think they originally have it mapped to send a sleep signal to the computer that you have it plugged into. Um, the problem with that for me is they say it's, it doesn't really work with Linux. Now, obviously I plan to put a Raspberry Pi in this which runs off of Linux. Uh, in fact I'm going to be using RetroPie on this. Uh, I'm going to be using it as an emulation computer. Uh, you know, sort of gray area there, yeah, I know, but um, that that's what I'm going to be using it as, and uh, 
it, it, Retropie is built off of Raspbian, which is built off of Debian, which is a Linux distribution. Um, so, you know, it's that momentary switch won't really work for me as far as a sleep button. I might solder in something right here on those two contacts to do a restart or something. I, I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, but you know, it's, uh, that's what I'm working on so far. Um, most of the other parts should be in tomorrow for me. So I might do another update on this then, uh, that cooling fan is probably gonna go right about there. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, like, dislike, comment, whatever. I don't really care. Um, I'm just glad you, you watched it uh you know comment if you uh have any suggestions for me on what i could do different than what i'm already planning um my hdmi out will probably be here and i'm thinking composite over here um just so that i can take this to wherever and be able to plug into any monitor that i really need to um so yeah that's uh, what I've been working on. I'll keep you guys updated. Bye.